Angelo and Gavin here, and I'm back with Loot Crate for the second year in a row, and I'm joined this year by... Marissa. What do you do? I'm marketing and PR at Loot Crate. Is that like a fancy title for saying, hey, I put the ads up on websites? Um, I only kind of do that. That's more Matthew. I focus more on media, blogs, social, all that jazz. So you're the one who creates like the one the, the email markets that go out and show you, hey, promote this month, do this, do that. I help proof the copy for that. Really? So you just kind of like blog, I guess, social? Um, I do all of our community management, so not all of it, but a lot of it. Um, I also handle all press inquiries uh, and outreach. Like and, us. Yes, like <laughs> That's you guys. That's why she's here. That's why I'm here. Uh, and I also do a lot of the ideation and activation around events. Ideation, is that a fancy word saying you come up with the ideas? Some of them, yes. Have you ever come up with one of the crate themes? I've helped with some of the product. What was your favorite and had crate a, And had a vote. <gasps> Which one I did voted. you vote for? Um, I've, I voted for a lot of things. So wh when I first started, and still kind of now, uh, I would sit down with some of the product team, some of the marketing team, and we'd kind of be like, all right, so the next few crates, what have we been seeing on social? What can we do? What What's available right now from people that we work with, from people that have reached out to us? Uh, and how can we kind of tie all of those things together? And so we'll think about things that we've done in the past, things that we've included, what people have liked, what people haven't liked. Uh, one of the things we did in April, we did uh, dragon jerky, and we put Mikey's face on it. Yes. So it was Mikey's dragon jerky. The dragon jerky was a little weird. <laughs> it was also it was kind of greenish. <laughs> yeah, it was um, kind of fun. I think they tried to make it look like it came from a green dragon, but we got a lot of inquiries about whether that was supposed to be green. Uh, so in retrospect, maybe... <laughs> Hey, I think there's mold growing maybe on my we'll, jerky. Yeah, exactly. We'll be like, maybe in advance, we'll be like, P.S., it's fine. We wouldn't send you something that you can't eat. Yeah. I guess do you get a lot of weird like, questions, things like that? Like, the jerky's green, uh, there's do, a pin in my box. Why is there three pieces of candy? Yeah, well, when when we do send candy, sometimes we'll be like, uh, we'll, get, we'll get people being like, oh, you know, my mom told me never to take candy from a stranger. And I was like, we're Can not I strangers. Can I return it for a refund? Yeah, right. <laughs> We're your friends. I don't understand. We had a relationship. <laughs> so you're kind of new to Loot Crate, I take it? I started in December. Aren't you happy you didn't sign up for like Foodie Bin or those other ones that are Oh my gosh, yes. Knockoffs? I watch other unboxings and I'm like, mm. We did one and we did Booty Bin, you guys, and Nerd Block. And Booty Bin had toys from like five years ago. They're like a dollar at Big Lot. They're so. like... They're like retro, kind of like terrible retro, but they don't tell you. They're just like, oh. yeah. And they also charge more than you guys. are like, we paid a lot of money for a Spock figure from the first Star Trek movie when the second one's already on Blu-ray. You know? <laughs> You're like, oh, thanks. I think um, I'll be over here. Yeah, I can't even return it for you know refund on what it costs to get this thing sent to me. I think it was a a good they they put in a good effort, but uh, I don't think they exist anymore. Yeah, that's what we were told. They got shut down, and I wonder Their why. Their website's from, like, October or something. It hasn't been updated yeah. at all. So we're like, oh, I guess they're not here anymore. I don't know. What's your favorite thing you've ever put in a crate? Oh, that's such a hard question. Um, I think I really like, oh, you know what? I really love my Titanfall shirt. I like to wear that to exactly. the gym. I like to wear my Titanfall shirt to the gym because I think it throws dudes off at the gym that I'm wearing a Titanfall shirt. Really? Like they're like, you're lifting, you're this girl, you're wearing a Titanfall shirt, and you're lifting weights. Like, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I was going to wear that yesterday because I was thinking about, oh, Titanfall, and I didn't know Titanfall was here, so I just wore my Zelda shirt, and I interviewed them first. I was like, I should have been wearing my Titanfall, because I had the lanyard and all the other stuff. Oh my gosh, you're like, okay, let me start off by saying, I'm really unprepared, and I'm sorry, because I have a Titanfall shirt, and I love Titanfall. <laughs> And I love you, and yeah. I love Titanfall. But can we talk? She's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. She's like, you want to sneak and play a game? I'm like, I'm not going to cut in front of people, but they were giving away shirts yesterday. I was like, oh, I should have totally cut in front of people to play the game, ride on our Titan, and then get a shirt. And it's totally cool because they work with us, and we know them, and they're our friends, and they get crates too. So they would totally recognize a Loot Crate shirt. What is a great crate that you can tell us about that's upcoming? That's upcoming. Okay. I know Villains is this month. Villains is this month. Um, and we are announcing, I believe, next week, but he, it's gonna Heroes is gonna follow in August. Awesome. And the videos are like everything goes together. Like we've never we've never done something like that before, but the videos kinda go together. Our July video is gonna say to be continued. Uh, it's gonna be like this epic hero villain battle. Uh, we've got I do you already know the stuff that we revealed that's in July's crate? Yeah. 
Um, no, I don't know what's in it. Okay, we Can actually revealed me? one of the full items of the crate, which we've never done before. Which is? Um, which is the Rocket Raccoon issue one from Marvel. Uh -huh. It's an exclusive variant cover that's only in our crate. Nice. Yeah. So we've we've first of all we've never put a comic in the crate before. Uh, so we're putting this. We're helping them launch the Rocket Raccoon comic. It's done by an artist named Scotty Young, uh, and we've never done a comic. And so we're kind of trying to see how, how go our over. subscribers go, you know, deal with that. We're giving putting comics in the hands of people that may not normally buy comics. You're gonna be like, hey, uh, this comic cover doesn't match the one I saw at the store. Is there something wrong? Yeah. Right. He's holding a loot crate. Is that is that intentional? Is that, yeah, you know. We'll be like, yes, it it's is. actually intentional. Rocket Raccoon is on the cover, uh, shooting a gun, and hold. He's clutching a loot crate, and he's it's like he's guarding it. So we were pretty excited about it. I love every loot crate that comes with a Funko Pop figure because I'm addicted to those things. We love yeah. Funkos too, and uh, we are actually the largest purchaser. We're currently the largest purchaser of Funkos because every time we put in an order. We have over 100,000 subscribers now, yeah. so it's like kind of a big order. <laughs> so we buy a lot of them. We sell them at shows all the time because we'll just kind of pick them up from them, and people love them so much. Uh, so yeah, we definitely, we do Funko Friday every Friday, so we're definitely huge Funko fans. I love them. I had to go buy the same one from a comic book store for Trick or Treat because I freaking love that movie. Yes. But he's creepy. He's got stone on eyes and all this other fun yeah, exactly. stuff. Exactly. I've got them all kind of, the first one I ever bought was Booberry from the Booberry cereal. <laughs> that's, that's a really good. Discovered. That's a good way to start it off. Yeah, and then it was kind of nostalgic. Aquaman. Like, oh, my cereal. Oh, these are really cute. I like this art style. And, and then now, you have like twenty of them. Yeah, they're all over the house. There, I'm, I know several people that are addicted, and I try to kind of like hook them up. Be like, oh, we got this shipment of Funkos in. We just got the Guardians of the Galaxy set in. I know you like the Guardians of the Galaxy. And hey, come buy them from my boss. Yeah, <laughs> wanna wanna come and get some Guardians of the Galaxy ones? I just, we just ordered the Slimer one finally, because I've been trying to find a Slimer Slimer's everywhere. Slimer's so awesome. We, got, we ended up getting on Amazon for like 10 bucks. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do it. What a steal. Right? Yeah, that's it's, hard. I have not seen it in person. Not only that, and it just came out, and it's tough to find it at that price. You yeah. did good. We've looked everywhere and can't find it anywhere. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's what happens whenever they release those popular sets, like fresh off. Suddenly you're, they're selling out everywhere, and you're just like, uh, we've had people come up and be like, do you have the Deadpool one? I really, I just really have a hard time finding the Deadpool one. I'm like, that one's hard because they're constantly selling out of that one. Yeah. Yeah. Because everybody apparently wants to be Deadpool. Yeah. I, I think they just, Deadpool lives a life that, that a lot of people wish they had. Yeah. He's immortal. He's kind of a badass. He just hates, like, he's just mean to people. Like, people just want to be mean to people secretly. He's like that mean guy in high school. Everybody wants to be that mean guy in high yeah. school because they're popular. Except, and then totally immortal. Yeah. Totally immortal would be kind of nice. Although... I would like to see the end of the world, I'm not going to lie. If I were immortal, I would watch the end of the world and be completely content. True. Yeah. What would you do if you were immortal? If I was immortal? Oh, my gosh. It, after getting over the fact that I was immortal, um, I would just, I would be so excited to see the future and, like, live in it. And I just would, like, keep growing and, like, befriending people. And then just, like, having to deal with their deaths all the time would be really depressing and tragic. But, like... I don't know. I guess money is unlimited. Money doesn't matter if you're immortal. You just keep getting dollars. People can't kill you. I can just like build myself a castle, live in Maybe some remote castle. part of the world. <laughs> I'd be on an island. Yeah. Maybe I'd live in a remote part of the world because I can't make friends because they'd all just die. <laughs> so Loot Crate is incredibly awesome. I love you guys. I'm super happy I've been subscribing. I love the animate one. I think that's been your best one by far. The anime? Yes. Oh, that was with the Run and Stimpy. And yes. that, yep, that was a good one. That was probably People my love, favorite one. That is, our, um, that is our second most well-liked crate, well, most highly rated crate. I think the first was October Survive. Yes, that one was really good because it came with a book that I had lost in a fire. And I was like, it's an actual book. Yep. Yeah, so now I own five books. I had to realize that. You own five <laughs> actual books? Five actual books, including that one, which I completely forgot until I found it last night. Five books. I'm impressed. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I'm getting up there. <laughs> Reading so, away. Thanks for the time. Of course. It was super fun. It's always a pleasure. I don't know how that happens. Why are we even holding the cords? Like, yeah, they, there's like some weird way that they hold it. We're holding it like wrappers right now. Yeah, we're, we're like wrapping the like cord wrappers. around ourselves. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. No. Anyway.